What's the scenario? Andy driving down the desert, incredibly high speeds, piece of shale under the surface that we didn't see, didn't notice. Big chunk of the wheel comes off. That chunk of the wheel is going to be traveling incredibly fast. This armor will stop that piece of wheel from hurting Andy or hurting the rest of the car. And that's the plan today to check that this can achieve that aim. This is the piece we're going to fire down the range today. So it's the largest piece of wheel that can be removed from the wheel itself before the wheel would just destroy itself. Now we're actually firing quicker um, with a lighter piece than our requirements, but the level of energy is the same. The uh, projectile will come out of the cannon through the timer gates and hit the initial uh, surface point on the panel. As it hits that surface, the first few plies of material will start to break apart and absorb some of the energy. This will actually end up looking very much like a uh, ripped hessian sack in the fact that all the fibres will start to sort of splay apart as they're absorbing energy. Each of these fibres breaking will take energy away from the projectile and stop it from actually going through. What we're going to be firing today is a 20mm frag simulating projectile or FSP which is representative of a 155mm um, artillery cannon fire. Energy ratings of this today hopefully will be around about 22.5 kilojoules which in speed wise be about nine, approximately 980 to 1000 metres a second. And then I'm just going to place this in. Just got the striking pin. Should see if it's up. And we're going to wind that up. Pull in the power cable and safety off. Weapons armed. So the test has passed. Uh, how has it passed? The sabots hit the panel and it's not emerged from the back of the panel, tick. And in fact, because the panel is the shape of the car now, and there's a slight curve to it, it's actually performed better than expected. And we gave them the homework question of 22 and a half kilojoules of energy to stop. And this represents 29 kilojoules of energy, which is amazing. So um, mission accomplished.